Did you know that song, the wedding theme tune, is actually from an opera called Lohengrin, in which the groom-to-be turns up at the church, then pulls out a sword, kills half the people at the wedding, then turns into a swan and fucks off before they get married? As comedians, we're quite often asked what kind of comedian we are, what style we do, and also, I guess, what we hope to achieve through that style. Why are you doing this, Tom? What good is this? My least favourite thing about having to wear glasses is that within the first ten minutes of making a new friend, they will take off your glasses, <laughs> pop them on themselves, and then go, how do I look? <laughs> <laughs> to which you have to reply, I don't know. <laughs> You've taken away the only thing which would have allowed me to answer your question! I've always wanted to be an interactive comedian as much as possible and then on top of that thematic I like talking about a theme. I've always thought of proposing as being the ultimate chat up line. <laughs> You're not basically saying get your coat <laughs> and all of your other possessions <laughs> you've pulled forever. <laughs> so I get nervous asking a lady out. And I like trying to engage and divulge as much of that theme as possible. So this year's um, main show for me, Tom Webb's Wedding, was talking about weddings, but for me it was really talking about love, the notion of love, finding love, exploring love, and celebrating love, which is what a wedding is, I believe. True love could be anywhere. <laughs> and then you start worrying, because true love could be everywhere. And you start thinking, should I just be flirting all of the time? <laughs> just just non stop flirting. Like, ooh, that's a nice bit of red hair, but I hope it doesn't mean s stop. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Should I just be sort of storming into bookshops, being like, ooh, 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 ooh do you like books? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe, we, maybe we should talk about my great expectations. <laughs> and your little Dorrit. Because I ain't done Dickens in ages. <laughs> and then I'll be hitting so much pussy, you should call the RSPCA. <laughs>